Hey all guys, it's Fishy and welcome back my glorious Bannerman. So about two days ago I put up a video asking you guys if you wanted me to play Call of Warhammer and it was pretty much an overwhelming yes. Uh, for those of you who are kind of worried about me not focusing so much on The Last of Roman which is coming out today, um, don't worry about that. I should still have a video up every single day of The Last Roman. Um, hopefully at least um, you guys will enjoy that. And yeah, that should be good. So obviously, as I was saying in the previous video, this isn't going to be like a fully fledged series. However, you know, I'm still going to be uploading it every, like quite often. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Um, so yeah, faction vote time. And also if a faction, if I play a faction and you don't really want them, you want a different faction, don't worry. Uh, Total War Warhammer is coming out in like a year and a half's time. So I'm sure I'll be able to complete multiple playthroughs on this uh, mod if you guys are interested in that. Um, so yeah, uh, faction boats. So the three factions I am willing to play, maybe even a fourth, I'm not sure. I don't think I've decided yet, I'm sure I'll decide when I put this video up, uh, which you can go ahead and vote in the store poll down below, are going to be uh, the Vampire Counts, um, or Sylvania, um, they're a very interesting faction, it's not a normal faction I would play, because they kind of rely on the hordes just to overwhelm the enemy, like low tier hordes just to kind of you know, swamp the enemy and just use the numbers to great effect, which is something I don't normally do. I kind of normally enjoy to have the high quality troops holding back the hordes, as you can tell from my Western Roman Empire uh, Let's Plays and stuff. But yeah, so that's Sylvania. Um, they start off in a pretty interesting position. They kind of have all their provinces together, um, kind of on the edge of the empire as well as the dwarfs along here. Um, and they kind of have blood, uh, blood keep, I think it's called, which is pretty much in the heart of the empire. So that would be some interesting battles if you guys decide uh, to choose them. Uh, the second faction are the dwarfs. Uh, they had some pretty insane infantry. Their iron breakers are pretty cool as well, and they also have like a dragon slayer unit as well, which is uh, really really cool. Uh, they kind of start off like um, separated in a sense, but they're pretty close together. Uh, they kind of have one province there, one province there, one province there, and then two over here, um, close to the Empire. Their main enemies will be the Orcs and the Night Goblins, as well as Sylvania. As you can see, Sylvania is here, and then the Dwarfs are here. So, if I am to play the Dwarfs, I will be fighting pretty much everyone. Uh, but it should still be a really, really interesting uh, Let's Play. And I love the Dwarfs. Dwarfs are going to be one of the factions I play on Total War Warhammer when it does come out. Um, the Dwarfs are one of the Empire factions, if anyone is interested in that. Um, so yeah, the, the third and final faction is the Duchy of, or the Grand Barony of Hockland. Uh, this is one of my favourite factions in the game. Uh, mainly just because I really like uh, using my rifles. And as well as that, I normally play as this faction in uh, the CK2 mod for uh, the CK2 Warhammer mod for CK2. Um, I kind of always play as the Grand Barony of Hockland and um, always have a lot of fun with that. Um, so yeah, they're kind of surrounded by allies in a sense. Um, they kind of have like two... Or two um yeah, you can see like you've kind of got this guy to the left, the middle one guy to the left, I and mean, then you've also got some other Empire people around me, uh, which is kind of useful. They are kind of on the frontier, uh, so when the Chaos Armies do spawn and you get like 50 stacks, they're going to kind of be fighting that. As well as that, they do have a load of Beastmen to, uh, underneath them, which they have to fight and off to the left. Um, so they're not going to be fighting so much the Orcs, but they're going to be fighting Chaos and Beastmen pretty much the entire way through. Um, so yeah, they're the three factions. Maybe I've added another faction in. Um, I don't think I will, though. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, go to the straw poll vote and probably in about two days I'll probably upload the first video. Um, as well as that, make sure to go ahead and check out my channel later today for some more uh, or for the first episode of my last Roman campaign. I do actually have a pretty insane, or uh, well, not an insane, but a pretty interesting start to that, which is pretty much going to go independent straight away. I've kind of already drawn out my plan. Uh, we're going to go to Sardin, we're going to go to Syracuse first and just uh, encamp and build up troops. And then we're going to invade Sardinia. And then we're going to go ahead and invade Rome. That's kind of my plan. Um, so yeah, that should be pretty That should be pretty fun. I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, uh, make sure to go ahead and vote. And you'll be able to see whoever wins in the next couple of days. And I'll see you guys next time. And peace out.